Hello everyone, my name is Mahendra. Along with me, I am my co-presenter Ashwini. We are part of Petrol Monitoring Team. We both are excited to welcome you to this webinar. In this webinar, we will discuss about various things related to Petrol for Microsoft SQL Server Monitoring. Petrol for Microsoft SQL Server is our robust and easy to configure solution. It has the capability to monitor the databases running locally or on remote servers. In addition to this, it also offers Microsoft SQL Server cluster monitoring. We'll use this solution along with BMC Helix Operation Management to configure the database monitoring. We'll discuss the prerequisite and compatibility. This prerequisite includes third party prerequisite and user account prerequisite. We'll use different type of users to show the demonstration of Microsoft SQL database monitoring. Monitoring of failed jobs. Basic troubleshooting of problems such as user validation, database connectivity, and WMI connectivity for remote monitoring. We'll end this webinar with important and necessary references. One of the third party related prerequisites is to have the .NET framework installed on the server where we have Petrol Agent and Microsoft SQL database solution installed. This is mandatory and most of the Windows servers nowadays has this framework installed. However, it is worth checking whether this is installed or not. Coming to the user related prerequisite, a Windows user should be a member of users group and this is the lowest possible permissions. This user can be a local user or domain user. For remote monitoring, Windows OS user should be part of administrator group on the remote Microsoft SQL database server. This is a Microsoft's prerequisite for using WMI connection. WMI connection should be established from Petrol Agent server to remote server or remote cluster server. As of March 2024, below are the supported Microsoft SQL Server versions, which will be compatible with Petrol for Microsoft SQL Server database monitoring solution. Standard or Enterprise Edition and Cluster and Non-Cluster environments are supported by Petrol for Microsoft SQL Server. For updated supported Microsoft SQL Server versions, please refer our official documentation. Here are the list of grants for different level of database monitoring. For basic database monitoring, these four highlighted grants are required. For SQL agent job failure parameters, below two highlighted grants are required. So this category will monitor the failed jobs. For always on monitoring, Below two grants are required. Similarly, for replication monitoring, below grant is required. For log shipping parameters, below highlighted grant is required. For monitoring of mirroring related parameters, one of the highlighted grant is required. Let's jump into the demonstration of Microsoft SQL monitoring using Windows user or integrated user. To be able to monitor the Microsoft SQL database, first make sure that the petrol agent where you have installed the Microsoft SQL KM is connected to the Helix console. To do so, click on configuration, agents, I can see that this agent has connected successfully to the Helix console. Now I can be able to create the monitoring policy. So next step would be to create a monitoring policy. To create the monitoring policy, click on configuration, select monitor policies, and click on this create button. You can specify the name of the policy. Here you can specify the agent selection criteria. You can specify the agent selection criteria based on host name, agent port number, agent version, 
agent operating system, IP address and agent tag. So let's select the agent host name. Starts with and the host name where I have installed the Microsoft SQL database solution. I click on the preview to see whether this policy is getting applied or not. And I can see that this policy is going to get applied to this agent. Click OK. Now click on Add Monitoring Configuration. Select the monitoring solution as Microsoft SQL Server. Select the latest version, monitoring profile and monitor type. Now click on Add button. Here you can specify the environment name. So there are two user credentials section. One is for Windows user. Another is for Microsoft SQL Server login. For this demo, we are going to use the Windows user. We'll enter the username. We'll enter the password. Confirm the password. And that's it. Now edit the configuration. Go to the host configuration and click on add button. Here you can either specify the host name of your SQL database or you can leave this as it is. When you leave this macro dollar host name, in that case, the same petrol agent host which has connected to this helix will be used to create the device. Click on Microsoft SQL Server instance configuration. By default, all the instances of Microsoft SQL Server database would be monitored. Check this checkbox if you want to monitor only database related monitors. To monitor only availability related monitors, click this checkbox. By default, Petrol for Microsoft SQL database solution monitors all the system databases. If you do not want to monitor the system databases, then you can exclude them or include them based on your requirement. By default, all the databases will be included. This part will be covered by Ashwini later in this webinar, so we will skip this. You can monitor the performance counters by selecting these three options, most important, full or custom. Also, you can write your own custom SQL queries and we can monitor those queries. This is a time-based parameter configuration section. If you want to monitor the long-running transactions, then you have to specify the criteria. By default, for long-running transactions, if the transactions exceed 10 minutes, then it will generate the alert. Similarly, for SQL agent hang job, there is 10 minutes of interval defined. For idle process, 20 minutes of interval is defined by default. And number of blocking processes, 3 minutes defined by default. You can change these values as per your requirement. We'll skip this part for now. Click on OK. Say OK. OK. And OK and close. You can enable this policy. If everything is correct, then monitoring should start. To see whether this monitoring has started or not, click on monitoring. Go to the devices. Search for the petrol agent host name. For this, we can see this MS SQL, the environment that we specified, the MS SQL server host, MS SQL server instance, and if we just see the instance here, we are able to monitor this using our policy that we just created. By default, all the system databases will be monitored. You can click on any of the databases and see the monitoring. So this is a database status. It shows online. You can go back and check other monitors and verify that the data collection is started or not. Here you can see that the SQL connection status is zero, meaning OK. We have successfully configured the Microsoft SQL Server database monitoring using the Windows user, and we see that the data collection has started. Now let's see the Microsoft SQL monitoring using Microsoft SQL standard user. 
Before we configure the Microsoft SQL database monitoring using the standard MS SQL user, please make sure that Petrol Agent is connected to the Helix. To verify that, you can click on the configuration, go to the agents, and search the Petrol Agent host where you have installed the Petrol for Microsoft SQL Server KM. This agent is available here. It means that it has connected to the Helix. Now the next step would be to create a monitoring policy. In monitoring policy, we will enter all the details such as MS SQL database server name, user credentials, and database related setting. So let's create a monitoring policy. To create a monitoring policy, click on configuration, click on monitor policies, and then click on create button here you can specify the policy name add the description and then select the agent selection criteria now specify the agent selection criteria here you can specify the agent host name and the petrol agent host server name now click on preview to see whether this policy is getting applied to the correct agent or not you can see that this policy is going to get applied to this agent which is the correct one Click on OK and come out of this. Now click on Add Monitoring Configuration button. From Monitoring Solution list, select the Microsoft SQL Server. Now click on this Add button to add the environment configuration details. You can specify the environment name. If you want to keep this name local as it is, you can keep it or you can define the different name. For this demonstration, we are going to use Microsoft SQL Server login details and not the Windows user details. In previous video, we enter the Windows user details to monitor the MS SQL database. This time, we will enter the MS SQL Server login details. I'm entering the username as SA and its password. Click OK once you are sure that the password is correct. Click OK. Now edit the details. Click on this Add button to add the host configuration details. If you keep this dollar host name macro as it is, then the petrol agent host name will be used to create a device. For remote monitoring, this host has to be replaced with the actual database host. You can click on this add button to add the server instance configuration details. By default, petrol for Microsoft SQL Server solution monitors all the instances. If you want to monitor only database specific metrics, you can click this checkbox. And to monitor the availability only metrics, you can select this one. For now, we are not going to monitor the database and availability monitors, so I will uncheck it. Under database section, we have filtering mode, whether to include or exclude the databases. By default, all the databases will be included. If you do not want to include all the databases, you can exclude the databases and you can have your own list of databases to be included. We can monitor the PerfMon counters by specifying the PerfMon monitoring level. There are three options here. Most important, full and custom. Select the appropriate one. We can also monitor the output of the custom SQL queries. So to add the custom SQL queries, click on this Add button. Here I will add the test query. I am just adding the query which will show the logs in the Microsoft SQL Server. And the collection interval, you can reduce the collection interval or Increase the collection interval. Once you are done, click OK. 
under this time based parameter configuration we have four parameters long running transactions sql agent hung jobs idle processes number of blocking processes for each of these categories we have the default interval defined if you want to increase this interval you can increase it or decrease it once you are done with this you can click on okay okay and close and save the policy to check whether this policy has successfully got applied to the agent or not click on the configuration select agents and now click on these three dots and select this option show history for applied configurations here you can see that this policy is applied successfully now click on close to see the monitoring click on monitoring select the devices and search for the petrol agent host name click on the device here you can see that the ms sql container has got created this is the environment name this is the microsoft sql server host this is the instance details and under the instance we have the agent custom sql queries databases and server this custom sql query we had added all the system databases it has discovered because we haven't excluded any of the database there are no user databases that's the reason all the system databases are discovered if you want to see the data collection click on any of the databases and here you can see that it has successfully started collecting the data you can go back and check the data collection of other monitors And we can see that this SQL query is getting monitored now. In this demo, we configured the Microsoft SQL database monitoring using Microsoft SQL standard user. With this, I will hand it over to my co-presenter Ashwini to cover further topics. Thank you. Thanks Mahendra for covering the first part of this webinar that is configuring SQL monitoring in vHome. In second phase of this webinar, we will see a demo on how to configure fail job monitoring along with troubleshooting on some common issues. What is fail job? A job is a specific series of operation performed sequentially by SQL server agent. A job can perform a wide range of activities including running transact SQL scripts, command prompt application, Microsoft ActiveX scripts, integration service packages, analysis service commands and queries or replication tasks. So it is very much important for an organization to monitor the status of failed job. Now we can see the demo for failed job monitoring for that. Let's proceed to the vHome console. As explained by Mahindra, database monitoring is al already configured. So we'll jump on to the failed job section. Click on local environment name underneath database source details. MS SQL agent. So by default, failed job will get monitored. 
but if you select this checkbox the job will considered failed as long as its last run was successful if you unselect this checkbox job will be considered failed for that pooling interval so we will leave it unselected and save the policy We will check if there are any current fail job for this device. Right now, there are zero failed jobs. Here, we have taken MS SQL database session and we will try to execute the query that is used to collect the failed job data and see if there are any failed jobs right now. click on execute so as we can see here are zero fail job we will try to run one of job and see if it fails or succeeds so this job is failed and now we will execute this query again and see if it is detected by this query as you can see, this sample job is failed. Now we should see the same in the BHOM console as well as we should have an event. Now let's jump onto the BHOM console and check the device for the failed job. As you can see the game has detected job failure and it is currently showing as count as one so for this we should have an event from be home as well as petrol as we have enabled the petrol event as well The event which are generated from the be home, you cannot see the job name in that. So for that, we, we need to enable the petrol event. In petrol event, you can clearly see the job name. So by that way, you can identify this job is failed. Here we have petrol event as well. Here you can see the job name is coming, job name as sample test job. If you want to get petrol event to be sent to the B home, then you need to add one variable which will enable sending petrol event to B home. That is helix monitor event you need to set the value of this variable to one agent setup integration helix monitor event need to be set to one so you can have your petrol event to the be home
So far, we have completed the demo for field job monitoring. Now we will have a look at some common issues related to connectivity verification. SQLcollector.exe utility is used to check the connection between petrol agent and DB for local monitoring and current log integrated user. You can use this command to check the connection. SQLcollector.exe hyphen diag check underscore host underscore connection. So this command will test the connection and it will tell you if everything is okay. In previous slide, we saw how to verify the connectivity between petrol agent and DB using current logged in integrated user. So in this slide, we will see how to use alternate user to verify the connectivity. So you can use run as option along with username and domain name. Once you execute SQL collector utility, it will open new window with username and domain name. And it will ask you to select integrated mode or standard mode. So you can hit enter for I. So it will be integrated mode. And at the end, you will see the connection with database is success. We can also check the connectivity for the standard user that is SA user. For that, you need to select the S option so it will verify the connectivity between petrol agent and DB. In order to have remote monitoring enabled, we need to have the WMI connection between petrol agent and database host name. We can check the WMI connectivity using WBM test. In order to test that, you need to use the host name in this format. This is the successful example of WMI connectivity between agent and database host. If at all there is any issue with respect to WMI, you might face this kind of issues. We have completed the troubleshooting part on connectivity test. Now, if there is any issue with the failed job data collection, you can execute this query on the DB host and see if it is returning any output. If there is any issue while returning the output, you need to check if all required rights are in place. Additionally, you can check the dump hist output and see if there are any errors, annotation or data collection happening at the agent level. To summarize on this, we have completed the prerequisite section that will tell us what are important things needed in order to have the monitoring enabled. We have also seen the demo of how to configure the DB monitoring and field job monitoring in the vHome. We have covered the troubleshooting on how to verify the connectivity between agent and DB. We have some important references as well on this. Please visit this blog, video, and important article. Additionally, you can subscribe to this channel in order to have all the product updates. Thanks for attending this webinar.